I recently did a video about uh, how I set up this server in this cupboard here. And even though it's pretty big in here, I uh, didn't like how it was going. It was a bit warm. Okay, so there's no there's nowhere for the air to go. So I never quite finished it, and I didn't like it. So what I'm doing now is, uh, as you can see, I've, I've shut that down. I'm instead of running all these VMs on here on there. What I'm going to do is set my network up to run off all sorts of Raspberry Pis for different purposes, and they'll be in the garage. So in the garage, I've set it up a bit comfortable again. I've got there is a car there, if you can call it that, and um, I've got couch and carpet in here, and a workbench. Not set up yet, but uh, I've just set the rack up again, so I'm going to fill that with stuff. And uh, I will put the, the rack mount server in there and just use it when I specifically want to do something on it. But the day-to-day -day network is going to be run from this little rack here, full of Raspberry Pis, which will be up in there. So I'll have them for the router, the DHCP server, home automation, stuff like that. So that's what I'll work on now. Now what I'm going to do is put that server in this, in this rack. And I'll still use it, um, but I don't feel like putting any more holes in the walls for uh, Ethernet outlets. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to use an access point as a, as a mesh link. So there's an AP behind there, that little rack up there, and it's only uh, like three meters away, okay? So it'll do for here. Um, and then the wide side of this AP will plug into the wide port on the server and just give it some connectivity. All right, now I'm going to... Unplug this and take it out to the garage. Now check it. Right. Alright. Got this here. Got the AP booted up. That's a mesh point. It's pingable. So I'm going to go from there. Doing here. This is obviously just temporary because it's going to go in the rack eventually. I'm just testing the concept first. So it's just an AP acting as a mesh point going straight into the port on the server. So hopefully I'll be able to ping that server soon. Right, I've got a blanking panel on the rack and I'm going to try and get these screws through so I can mount the uh, monitor on there for some sort of entertainment. I'm going to put this Raspberry Pi concoction on there. That's the PoE splitter and the Raspberry Pi there. Let's try and mount that to the back and put the monitor on the front. Right, which one will I drop first? Right, that's there. Pretty straight maybe. I'm going to drag that amp shelf down to be just above it. Hopefully, if I'm lucky, I'll be able to get the next device just in there. All right, I've put a shelf in there just for general usage above the amp. Uh, one of these rack mount computer cases is there. Um, I'm probably not going to use that. I do have another one that I'm going to put there with the guts of that computer, but just not tonight. I'll do that tomorrow, I think. And uh, that'll be my computer for out here at the workbench. Alright, today I'm going to take the guts out of this computer and put it in this well, out of this case and put it into this case. And uh, I'm also going to put this graphics card in, which I didn't use for Proxmox because you don't need a, a video card, but I'm going to use this as my uh, kind of a desktop out here in the garage. So I'm going to give it a, this triple head graphics card, which is the same one as I use at my desk. So, let's go. This is that second network card that I'm not going to need on a new one because I'm moving that to its own dedicated server. Well, I already have. It's running from a Raspberry Pi now. That was for the cameras and the other video stuff. So I won't. I'll be needing that for now. Here's the rack case ready to go. Still bare, apart from the Blu-ray um, drive I've put in there. So I can uh, put all my CDs on there. <laughs> Look at this shit. Designed for AI. <laughs> I mean, really. Dumbasses. I'll be looking in here. So they're all eight terabytes. I did have four, but one, of course, died, if you remember. So I've culled my data down a bit. All right, for now, this is how it looks. Got the graphics card in, the hard drives, 
the uh, DVD uh, Blu-ray ROM there and the rest of it. So this will do me for a little while. Okay, boot it up. It's alive and well. It did complain about no keyboard, but it didn't ask me to press a key to continue like the old days. For those who remember, um, you know, when there was no keyboard connected, it used to say, no keyboard, press whatever it was to continue. I mean, they're the people driving it, eh? They're the ones we're supposed to trust to look after us. Right, now tested that that all works. Now I'll put the cover on and put it in the rack. What you don't want to do is think you've done it all right, put it back in and then find something's wrong, got to take it all out. So nothing went wrong, but that's the safer way to do it. So I'll put that in the rack now. Always put the bottom ones in first. That way it can take its own weight. Why you put the top ones in. The other thing is, I've got the spare one here. Okay, this is just spare. I'm just gonna put it in here to, to keep it somewhere. You do the bottom unit first so the top one can just sit on there so you don't have to struggle twice. What I'm gonna do is just mount this to a uh, one new panel here and put it at the back of the rack. All right, so I've drilled a couple of holes. That won't work for me. That was from when I used this on a bigger AP. This one's a bit less apart. That'll go on the back of the rack. All right, I've got the server running and the APs there acting as a mesh point to give it connectivity. Now, this is all temporary. Well, that bit's permanent, but these monitors are temporary. I'm gonna replace them with three smaller ones and hook them up to this once I reinstall this as Debian. But for now, it's Proxmox and I'm just continuing like that for now. So what's really going on here? Well, what I'm gonna do is decommission Proxmox for a 24 seven system. Okay, so rather than running that big server, I thought I've got a whole bunch of Raspberry Pis around the place from models 1, 2, 3, and 4, and I figured they could probably do half the stuff that those VMs are doing. Libra NMS, Home Assistant, PFSense, but they're going to move to a Raspberry Pi. So I also had a web server on there, uh, the camera server, which the last video, I think it was the last video, I showed that that's now on a Raspberry Pi. So I'm moving them into Raspberry Pis. Now for the last few days, I've been running a Raspberry Pi as my router to the internet. So I'm not actually using this PFSense anymore. Okay, I just set up a whole bunch of IP tables rules on it and it's working nicely. That's going to change though, that's kind of temporary. What I'm going to use is NF tables because uh, they sort of supersede IP tables. But I'm just getting into that and I'll probably do a video on NF tables at some point as well as I uh, get through all that. So that's what I'm doing. So. As I said, the, the currently I've got a Raspberry Pi for the web server, the router, the TV server, uh, Pi Hole, the DNS server. So that was a VM as well. All these VMs I don't need anymore. And um, I think basically just for fun as well. So I mean, yes, I can use PFSense. It's nice and easy to, you know, set a rule, put it in there. Using IP tables or NF tables requires a bit more thought and a bit of more manual work. And um, there's two sides to the, I know the people who watch this, you can tell where they're coming from by the comments. Some, a lot of them just say, why don't you just for whatever thing I'm doing, you know, like there's some easier option. PFSense is easier than writing all these IP tables rules, but I'm having a bit of fun doing it. And the more you do it and you make mistakes and you learn stuff, and that's the point. You, you get more familiar with how the inner workings work. So I'm having some fun with IP tables and NF tables is what I was up last night doing and that's, um, I can see why that's taking over. So um, that's what I'm up to. And yeah, all of it'll be PoE. So it'll be running straight off the switch and uh, it won't heat up as much, use as much power and all that sort of thing. So I'm just gonna continue doing that. So at the moment, the Raspberry Pis that I do have running are just thrown in there. They're most certainly not in their final position because you know I don't like messy cables like that. But did anyone spot the modem? at all around here let's have a look from this side i'll give you a hint it's around the front hey found it yet found it there's my modem i've got an sfp modem that goes straight to the phone line and it just pops out on whatever vlan i set that port to and uh, it saves having an extra device there so i love that modem 
So how am I using that modem? Well, the way I had it with PFSense, it's the same as a Raspberry Pi, I, I just set one of the interfaces as a different VLAN. Okay, so I've got my normal VLAN, just VLAN 1, and I've got that modem on VLAN 2. Now in the Raspberry Pi, like I did with um, PFSense, I just set up another adapter with VLAN 2 on it. So now there's your two adapters. So it only uses the same physical connection, except by using a different uh, VLAN, I can send that traffic through to that modem, which I've also set the same VLAN on the modem. It controls, it controls the modem with uh, you know my ISP's username and password, and then just routes through the Raspberry Pi, simple. Right, so here we are, a few servers plugged into the uh, switch there, just hanging for the moment, but obviously they're not gonna stay like this. I've got, I don't know, a router, the web server, what's gonna be a TV server, DNS server, uh, the camera server and whatnot. So, they'll sit up behind the rack and just run off PoE from the switch. Right, so there's a network built on Raspberry Pi servers, that's the, that's the core of the network. All powered off the switch, and that's it. Now they're not going to stay there, obviously. I'll throw them back up in, in here and make it all neat when I'm finished. But uh, that'll do for now. Was I just continue with the setup and um, hopefully next time we'll go more into some of the details of what I've got running here. Until then, take it easy.